Hello, welcome to the channel and welcome to my new build mat, which is rather beautiful. Um, and this is courtesy, courtesy of um, Bloods at Halo FPV. When I found out he was printing his own mats, I um, asked him if he could do one with my old logo on it and he kindly did and I'm absolutely thrilled to bits with it because um, the name of the channel is basically me tipping my hat to my son who has red hair and that's him there so yeah cheers bloods absolutely chuffed with that um, and I need to really look after it but we're not here to talk about my build mat we're here to talk about a couple of ESCs and I'm just basically starting my second Osiris build with the Zingy motors. I thought I'd try these. Um, I got them from Banggood with one of those 20% off coupons that I um, posted about. If you've got 200 points, you can convert them for 20% off voucher. Um, and Bloods uses these motors a lot. So I thought I'd give them a shout and at 30 quid for four, um, they seem an absolute bargain. But I've been messing around working out what ESC I'm going to use. And the ESC I was going to use is this one, which is the Speedex GS40F. And this is rated 3 to 6S, 40 amps, BL Heli 32. And this has been around some time now. And when I was after a 20 by 20 ESC for this guy, and I didn't want to take the risk potentially on another FETEC, I basically needed a 20 by 20 ESC because when you put the air unit in this guy, you haven't got a huge amount of space. And Speedex used to be my go-to brand when I was first in this hobby. And their single ESCs at the time, uh, the IS 25 and 30 amp ESCs were pretty much bulletproof in my experience. So when I figured I'd need another 20 by 20 ESC, um, this one is the one that caught my eye. And it's a really unusual ESC. It's not small by any means. Um, you can see the 20 by 20 mount holes. But you can see it's really unusual in the fact that it comprises of almost two boards. So you've got the normal sort of gubbins, fets and caps. And then you've got this additional board on top, which is just kind of held on with, I don't know what it is, some sort of hard putty or something like that. Um, but you can see the board, it's just full of caps. And these guys have a reputation of being really reliable. Interestingly, in the box, it comes with the usual gubbins. You get a couple of, a couple of wires. But you also get, if I can find them, you get these, which I'm not actually sure what they're... Four. Well, I have an idea, but I'm not even sure what you would, um, why you would use them. If I can actually get them out. So you get these squares of 3M tape and some spare um, connectors if you need them. You get these like wire guides, little plastic wire guides, and the picture doesn't really show what you do with them so i'm not actually 100 percent sure but i'm guessing they're maybe just to you sort of stick them on your frame somewhere and run your wires through them um so i can certainly find a home for them although whether i'll actually bother using them is a different matter but yeah this was the esc that i thought would be a really good reliable option and having seen it in the flesh mine's been conformal coating uh, conformal coated I really like it although of course the proof in the pudding will be once it's in a quad let's see what happens so if I just quickly weigh it my scales will set and um, this is without its connectors and it, it comes with the little gummies already installed so it's 13.32 so it's not light and if I get my frame, it comes with these little plastic spacers in two different sizes. 
So you basically get short ones and longer ones. And basically the idea is you just use those obviously to, as part of your mounting. And these are sort of made from hard plastic and they just slide over your screw, etc. And on the Osiris, because the tall one was too tall and the small one wasn't quite um, small enough, you can just basically clip these with um, snippers and make them whatever size. The more interesting and the new guy in town is this one. And despite Flywoo having an absolute horrific name in my opinion, I hate that name, the actual stuff that they're coming out with seems really, really good. I really like the motors that I'm still running on my SX218. They've lasted me really well. And the frames, while not to everybody's taste, are really original. And it's, it's the same with the new ESCs and what have you that they're coming out with. So these guys caught my eye. And because I'm going to be using KISS, I didn't bother getting the stack. You can get this with a, with a flight control, and I think they also do it with a little VTX as well. So it comes with, again, plastic spacers. And you get your gummies. And you get a cable and a 35 470 UF capacitor. But the thing that caught my eye on this is it's built really, really beautifully. You can see this really small, what I'm guessing is a heat sink on it. And again, this is BL Heli 32. Again, it's rated up to 6S. And again, we've got 40 amps continuous current. But if you look at them side by side, you'll see the size difference. So next to it, the Speedex ESC looks absolutely massive. And it's the same if you put them side to side, the Speedex ESC is pretty much double the thickness. And again, if we weigh it, the Speedex ESC was what, 13.2 grams, did I say? And this guy is 8.17. So there's a huge difference between them. And if I was flying a monster quad and I wanted an ESC that wasn't going to smoke, I would, of course, pick this one. Because that weight in an ESC is generally a good thing. And the fact that Speedex have made it two boards to increase the surface area and get additional... Um, components and resistors etc on it is only a good thing however if this can cope with a relatively light freestyle frame and the usual 2306 or 2207 motors on 6s i'll be really really chuffed and it won't be the first time that i've been surprised by a little light esc because the iflight um, 20 by 26 s ESC is somewhat, to my amazement, still running. Although, in fairness, it's on 4S in a Cinequad now. And this guy is actually, in part of the title, it says for Cine Whoops. But this one is going to go in a 6S quad. And the reason I'm going to do that is because I want to know if it'll smoke or not. So, yeah, so I was going to put the Speedex in my um, new Osiris build, like so. But, kind of tempted to put this guy in and see what happens. So yeah, I'll have to get back to, back to you on that one. Because basically I'm going to build this guy up and then I'm going to build with I'm going to build this guy up with um, the DJI system and then the apex frame that I've had 
kicking around since they first came out i'm going to build as my last or well, last five inch analog quad so i just need to decide who's going where but yeah check these out um flywoo have brought out a ton of different um escs and flight controls under this goku name um, and as i said the quality looks top notch and the thing that I said, as I said I like about Flywoo is that their stuff doesn't seem to be you know derivative or a copy of anybody else they seem to be doing their own stuff so yeah a couple of 6S CSCs as always these will go in builds as I've just said and the proof of the pudding will be you know which one smokes and which one doesn't and as always I'll update this video as and when they die or not as the case may be cheers guys thanks bye bye